one more argument to tell whether this is valid or a fallacy. If you watch Old Yeller, you will cry. If you cry, your shirt will be stained. Your shirt is stained, so you must have watched Old Yeller. Now, of course, you should be able to tell that this is not a valid argument. There are other starting points where your shirt could have ended up being stained. But let's prove that with this truth table. The premises are everything before this last statement. The first premise is if, call this P, then we'll call this Q. The second premise is if Q, then this new statement we'll call R. And if you put those two premises together, the conclusion is if R, your shirt is stained, then you must have watched Old Yeller. If R, then P. So the full argument looks like P implies Q and Q implies R, therefore R implies P. And this is an invalid argument, which you notice by telling that there are two false rows in that argument truth table. Transitive reasoning looks like P implies Q, Q implies R, therefore P implies R. This fallacy is called a misuse of transitive reasoning because it builds this chain and then tries to go back from R to P. And that's not a valid thing to do. So we can't reverse this and go back.